Radio Free Tatooine presents Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast. Boshuda, fellow Hollow Table hustlers, you're tuned into Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast that's better than some and worse than others. I'm Sean, a.k.a. the other Sean, and sitting across the hollow table from me, once again, is Josh, a.k.a. the Golden Pop-Tart. So I just want to warn everybody, the noise, if you're all of a sudden hearing the sound of a lightsaber starting up, that's just me playing with my lightsaber through this whole thing. So I really apologize (laughs) ahead of time. This is not a euphemism, this is... Oh, I I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it at all. You see it, but you don't hear it. Well, yeah. Then I guess you guys won't hear. Oh, yeah, that's, that sounds does sound bad. Like I am playing with a real lightsaber ish. Yeah, real deal. We're both. So Josh just got back from Disney World, which a couple of weeks prior I had gone to Disney World. So we are both proud owners of lightsabers from Savvy's Workshop, and uh, I mean they're cool. They're cool. They're that- cool. That whole so cool. Oh, that whole area, Galaxy's Edge, was unbelievable. And guess mm-hmm. what? I legitly hit it, and I hit that hyperdrive inside of the Millennium Falcon as well. So that was pretty fun. Yeah. Pretty oh, fun, man. That's that's awesome. Um, I, 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 we could do a whole show. I know we could we about could. just this. Honestly, <laughs> um, that was that was so fun. I I was a pilot. My son and I were pilots on Smuggler's Run. And my wife, in the group that we were in, you could be a pilot, a um, gunner, yep, gunner, or an engineer, yep. And like, no one wants to be the engineer. Everyone wants to be a pilot because you're flying, or a gunner because you're shooting. She wanted to be engineer because we read on some blog that like that's the least prone, to, the the one that is least likely to activate someone's motion sickness. Ah, uh-huh. and she gets that a lot. So she. She got in the, our group of six and said, uh, can I be engineer? And everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, please. Thank you. <laughs> Get back there. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm sure this is going to pop up. We're, we're just going to sprinkle D- Disney I think a little bit, stuff yeah. throughout the podcast, I'm sure. But um, we do have a fun show for you. Uh, I, we mentioned it last week. We had Eggnards on last week. And I mentioned, hey, you know, we missed a couple weeks here. We got all these new characters, all this new stuff. You're into Gungans. Let's talk mm-hmm. about Boom and Deer. So we did that. Saved Amidala for you. All so right. we'll be talking about Queen Amidala. We've got new Datacrons that we've kind of touched on, but now we've seen them in action. So we're going to talk about those. And then news of a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes PC beta just Ooh. broke. So we will definitely dip into that. But first, as is tradition... Let's celebrate some blurf days. There's only a couple celebrations this week, which is which is good. Um, it'll help our productivity. <laughs> yes. You know, fewer um, mornings after. You know, <laughs> God. on the sixth, we've got Sabine. Who has now been in the game for seven years. Wow. Seven, seven is years. a big number, y'all. Uh, and if School it wasn't House for rock a PC. There, what's that? Schoolhouse Rock. You know, I mean, a little <laughs> bit there. The magic number. Seven is a big um, number. So we have Sabine turning seven. And there's, you know, there's been talk. I threw out the history of the game, but like it's an old game. How long is it going to be around? Mm-hmm. They're just introducing a PC I know. version. I think it's going to be around for a minute. I think so too. I, I think we got something here. Yeah. We also have Marin turning one year old, so that's she's got to be accelerated any day now. Uh, on the eighth, we've got two more. We have Hunter turning three years old and outrider turning two years Hmm. old so um yeah only two only two blurf days but they're both doubles they are big party big big party 
All right, let's take a look at this week's upcoming in-game events brought to you by SWGOHEvents.com for a complete list of past, present, and future events. SWGOHEvents.com is a universe of info in a galaxy of heroes. On the 5th, we've got a couple things to do. We have an Omega battle. That's not much. No. Nope. You <laughs> You're done. We also, though, have a uh, contraband cargo. That's also not much. So, I mean, it's a nice, nice day. Yeah, nice, a little bit, day. right? We'll still be doing some uh, territory battles. So, you know, whatever. That is what it is. On the 6th, we have an assault battle, Forest Moon, as well as Fleet Mastery for Radis Blueprints, the Admiral's Maneuver. And then on the 7th, we have a training droid smuggling and sign up for Territory War number 319. Black Sun Heroes, we got to win this one. Yeah. We got to do it. And and maybe I'll even help. I mean, anything in particular? Just this is the one that you're calling? Well, I, I, we, I have to win some Territory Wars for my little stupid prestige quest <laughs> that I'm going after. I think I've only won two out of... Um, Golly, where are they? I need to win 10. Yeah, I've won 2 out of 10. And then I will have the title of Jedi Master. Mm. And a Mace Windu portrait. 25 hey. crystals. You gotta love it. Yeah, right? I mean, um, I, I will say though, Territory Wars with these data crowds have been a little bit fun. A little bit different. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Not for you, huh? Yeah, no. Honestly, the last couple I have not, I, I've i been, I didn't stream for my last uh, weekend. I mean, it's Easter weekend, right? Yeah. So, like, it's kind of forgivable, right? But um, I just, I've been not doing great in the game. Mm. I've been not the best guildy. I mean, I've been playing, right? But, like, I oopsie here, I oopsie there, I don't know. Oopsie like everywhere? Puppy. I mean... <laughs> Um, (laughs) what else do we have on the 8th we have an Omega Battle on Coruscant uh, as well as Grand Arena Season 51 Week 3 starting good riddance to Weeks 1 and 2 yeah uh, and then on the 9th we have a Fleet Mastery for Executrix the 10th gives us an epic confrontation Bo-Katan is back baby it has to be a monthly thing, and I love that. I'm not ready yeah. yet, but I'm now that I'm used to that. As long as I don't change it when I, I know, right? That's what I'm worried about there. too. I mean, they're going to be now looking that I'm at used my to roster. It, I'm kind of like, all right, cool. It's still going to be a while. I've got plenty to do. Um, and then let's see. Also on the tenth, we have a secrets and shadows assault battle. On the 11th, we've got a Fleet Mastery for Finalizer, that is General's Command, and we also have a Territory War sign-up, um, number 320. Of course, we'll have Galactic Challenges throughout the week as well. Um, the next one coming up is going to be Death Star. Yeah, bonuses for Galactic Republic. Um, I assume you're fighting against, yeah, Sith. So, cool. All right. I think that's that's it. That's all of them. Now, this current one, which, again, we're recording now on Wednesdays, is yeah. a beast a little bit to me. Like, getting three kills at the same time, especially on that last yeah. tier, is it, it's causing me a little bit of frustration. But How did I do it? I tried it with Sith Eternal. Tried it with Ray. You know, I just... Oh, I, I uh, Jedi Training Ray. Really? You can whittle them all down so they're, like, close. And then go over with R2 and bop! Mm. They'll all have uh, exposes all over them. So you get them whittled down, send R2 over there, and wipe them out. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's still a pain. Yeah, right. It's, I got it done. It's not enjoyable, but, I mean... yeah. All right, uh, let's see. Before we dive into this week's top stories, let's do a quick shout out to our fantastic Patreon supporters. If you enjoy what we do and want to be a part of our exclusive community, head over to patreon.com slash galactic war report. 
Your support makes this podcast possible, and you will even get access to the VIP section of our Discord server for some behind-the-scenes antics. Now then, punch it, Pop-Tart. Yeah, I mean, we got a little bit of funness. Funness? Wow. Oh, we got funness. I almost said Funyuns, too. It's like a little bit of everything (laughs) You got Funyuns? I actually do have Funyuns. Let's derail this conversation for just a second. There was one time years ago... Me and some friends of mine, we're all playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. We're like in our 20s, you know, living in decrepit apartments. And this guy brings a bag of Funyuns. Mm. And we're, we're munching on them, whatever. Someone reaches in and pulls out this burnt golf ball size wad of Funyun <laughs> matter. Oh, man. And that became a meme to us. It was the no Funyun. Oh, so love it. Uh, That's good. I, and I felt like it was important enough to derail this podcast where we have a lot to talk about today to tell the no funyun story. I mean, to pop another uh, Disney in there. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> right. So why don't we start off actually with, you know, kind of the fun that came out on April Fool's Day. And so it's so funny when it comes to this, like I totally forget anything about April Fool's Day. And so then all of a sudden something comes up about data mines and I'm going, oh, my gosh, we finally got crosshair again. You know, like I mean, again, or like I, you know, we're getting the getting this and then, oh, oh, the droid, too. Oh, my gosh. And then I'm like, what is today? It's April 1st, you fool. I mean, you fool. (laughs) I mean, well, (sighs) You know, yeah, I forget about these things, too. And, like, I don't know. Like, my wife used to work in an office where they would prank the people in the office next door. And they had, like, this good thing. So I used to help out with that. That was super fun. But I've never really worked somewhere that could do much of that. Like, I work in cybersecurity. And if you do any kind of April, like, you can't joke about that stuff yeah like <laughs> you don't joke about cybersecurity breaches i mean vulnerabilities that kind of stuff no absolutely not it's not funny <laughs> i work at a bank so there's a couple things we can't joke right. about either right you know yeah, like exactly hey did you put that money in your pocket or like <laughs> right right hey check out this interest rate Psych! i know right <laughs> <laughs> i get that yes um yeah, but uh, so data mine revealed that there was a crosshair, and what droid was it? It's the the droid, and that's a, a spawn. I, I I thought I said B two, but it's not a B two. Uh, it's the one okay. that actually like flies up, and you know is in the territory battles and those type of things. So gotcha. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should know the name, but I don't. But yeah, so I just thought it was funny, and at first I saw it, and I'm going like, wow, crosshair, like he basically just murders people. Like, just yeah. one-shot kills, and then I realized, oh, okay, that's why. Because this isn't real. Got him. But it got me, though, so. Got him. Now, um, let's, I guess, let's, first, let's let's talk about this PC beta. Yeah. Um, th- so this is interesting, and for the news to be coming when it did, I thought, I had to double-check the date. Like, is that, yes. is that an April Fool's? Or what? No, it's, it's legit. Um, it's coming to PC. Mm-hmm. I don't think we have a release date or whatever. It's it's moving into beta. It so sounds like in May, and so it sounds like that process starts in May. Um, yeah, which is is pretty cool. Yeah, and I've I've read that um there is it's it's going to be PC, right? Yeah. I'm a Mac guy, so. I'll still be streaming through an emulator. Yeah. And you guys will just have to deal with those those funky graphics. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. And my funky face. <laughs> it, it's interesting because obviously timing wise, like you said earlier, you know, I mean, why now? I mean, how many years has this game been around? So why PC now? Which we know. I mean, uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a nice way for them to continue to get obviously more people into the game. A lot easier for them to not have to pay that 30% to, to Apple or you know, That's Android. That's my thing and, is this is going to encourage more web store yeah. activity for sure. And and so I think that, you know, for all of us, like, I mean, we don't play this game for the FPS. Like, I, I mean, I get it. Like, so I love playing the Witcher three, 
And if you play mm-hmm. The Witcher 3 on the 360 or the, you know, Xbox One, it is mm-hmm. choppy. It is blocky. I mean, then all of a sudden you play it on the PS5 or the Xbox, you know, X. It is smooth as butter. Yeah. Um, funny part is, you know, there's people making butter in the game, too. But anyways, um, that butter is particularly it smooth. is. But so, like, yeah. I, I get that. So I wonder what this will be like going. It looks sounds like it'll cap at 60 uh, FPS. And That's nothing to shake a stick at. Yeah, That's right. Fine. And, you know, the <laughs> fact that, you know, with the fact that we're going to get a little bit better graphics, I mean, it's going to be kind of fun. I, I hope it, you know, turns out mm-hmm. to be great. And then not to have to worry about the crashing, too, because I know with these emulators, I mean, it's it's interesting sometimes where all of a yeah. sudden, especially like the tough battles, like with momentum or like a lot of, oh, you know, dots yeah. like the game kind of just freeze a little bit. I'm like, please do not die. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fair. I've only in all the streaming I've ever done. I think that's only happened to me once, Mm. but I'd rather that be zero. You know? Um, so yeah, I think, uh, it's, it's funny. It says raids have never looked better and it shows the, uh, (laughs) crate dragon raid. Like, I'll never see that again. No, right? No longer. But uh, uh, <laughs> raids have never looked better. Their new raid does not look as good as no. that one. Well, but it, yeah, I mean, it looks like for this, though, uh, you can pre-register. You know, it's mm-hmm. right there in the forums, you know. And so one mm-hmm. thing that's interesting, it says your ID, in which I thought at first was my ally code, which is not my ally code. Oh, um, no, you've got to play a long... Yeah, like it's like 20 a character crazy. I, I didn't even realize yeah. that existed, but I went. I don't on, even remember how to get yeah. to it. Just I went into uh, Swogo.gg, went up to my profile, went up to settings, and then I was oh. able to find it that way. Yeah, if you go just from the game, you hit the little settings gear in the top left. Mm-hmm. That'll show you your player ID. Yeah, but I'm way too lazy to have to type that out. So you can it just you can hit the copy oh, button through that one. So copy paste remember, is hey, where it's at. Least amount of effort yeah. is the way to go. But yeah. So CG, That's if fair. you're listening, choose me for this PC beta, please. I mean, right? I you know there there's word that it will move to, um, it will move to Mac. But you know how that stuff goes, man. It either happens or it happens a year and a half later. Yeah. Or either, I'm sorry, <laughs> never happens or it happens a year and a half later. So. I mean, or seven, right? Not holding out hope. Um, but still, it's cool. It's yeah. Cool. I mean, growth. I mean, that's what, you know, you, you look that at how much mindset. time we put into this. And if this prolongs it just one more year, I love it. It's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, well, let's talk at long last about this Queen Amidala character. We have put it off this long because uh, that's how we plan. <laughs> yes. Um, and also because no one has her yet, right? Yeah. We just finished the first conquest with her. We have fought against her now. Oh, my if you made word. it to Sector 5. But that's a trip. Yeah, and I actually am glad, <clears throat> excuse me, that we're doing this because I mean, there's there's probably not going to be that same way. But if it's the same, oh my gosh, this character could be unbelievable on defense because yeah. that was horrendous. It will, it'll, it'll be different, I'm sure. But it kind of depends on what units they release alongside her, like how they interact with her, because it's not going to be exactly like that. But yeah, but her kit, we we've seen it in motion i'm sure there's some modifiers in in play there but we've we've seen it um pretty cool pretty cool she's uh she is you know i mean you look at queen amidala and she's got to be a support unit Mm -hmm. right um i mean padme throughout there's there's times where she's a little more what's what's the padme in game is she support as well or is she attacker i think she's a support I think she's support. Yeah, she's uh, support. Um, but uh, yeah, the whole decoy thing is like on paper you read it and you're like, oh, cool. But like when you see it, you're like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Agreed. Um, 
so anyways let's let's talk about what it is she does first of all um her her basic is her heavy blaster pistol just shooting a fool uh deal physical damage to target enemy and expose them for two turns can't be evaded if there is an active ally handmaiden decoy that's gonna be almost all the time all galactic republic allies gain three stacks of heal over time and protection over time for two turns if there's an active handmaiden decoy ally galactic republic allies recover five percent health and protection and then she has a couple different specials, and uh, boy, she's she's got a lot beyond that too. But the other uh, maneuvers of her, um, I am Queen Amidala. That's the name. I That's know. It. I just. It's like I I am Queen Amidala. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I just I'm like I am Groot, but instead of Groot, it's you know. I'm Queen Amidala. <laughs> I might have to record a new song. It's been, like literally years, I think. Um, all right, so dispel all buffs on all enemies, deal physical damage to them, and all allies gain accuracy up for two turns. If there's an active decoy, stagger target enemy for two turns. Can't be evaded or resisted. And all Galactic Republic allies gain defense penetration up and three stacks of heal over time and protection over time for two turns. And this can't be evaded. Annoying. Mm -hmm. Then what we haven't seen is the Grand Arena stuff. So she's got an Omicron on this bad boy. This is in Grand Arenas and there's no Galactic Legend allies. The attack ignores enemy protection. And all allies gain crit damage up and four stacks of heal over time and protection for two turns. All enemies are inflicted with a stack of damage over time. And each elev- each active Galactic Republic ally... Um, oh, a stack of damage over time for each active GR ally. Speed down and vulnerable for two turns. And they have their cooldowns increased by one, which can't be resisted. If there's an active ally decoy... Those effects can't be evaded. That's a big yeah. middle finger to <laughs> yeah, like, pretty much every team. Two of them. It's got the the cooldown manipulation of Nihilus, along with the 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 rudeness of all those cheer at heal over time factors, um, and speed down and vulnerable. Like that's a real punch. <laughs> yeah. In in the. In the droid bits, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, second special is called Ascension Gun. And this is uh, where you get your uh, decoy. You dispel all debuffs on all allies. Call all other non-Galactic Legend Galactic Republic allies. Non-Gulger. <laughs> Gulger. Yeah, Non-Gulger yeah. allies to assist. And they and Queen Amidala recover 20% health and protection in case they were missing any. Remove 50% turn meter from target enemy, and that can't be resisted. So as an opening move, nice. You target whoever was maybe going to go, and now they're maybe not going to go. If all allies are Galactic Republic and there's no uh, Galactic Legend or Scoundrel allies, summon an ally handmaiden decoy to battle if the ally slot is available if an ally handmaiden decoy was already present all galactic republic allies gain defense up speed up tenacity up and galactic republic non-tank allies get stealth for two turns so she disappears a handmaiden steps in to be a decoy and uh everyone's cleansed of everything and healed up and one of the bad guys loses 50% there you turn go. meter. That's it. No biggie. So then we have the uniques. She's got two. This is, this is about to get verbose. I'm sorry. She has two uniques and um, a leader ability. And there's there's two more Omicrons coming. Girl. All right. Unique one is loyal bodyguard. This is an Omicron. Queen Amidala has plus 20% max health and max protection plus 10% crit chance and crit damage, and all allies are immune to cooldown manipulation. So, in nice. a mirror match, it yeah. takes that out of play, I suppose. Whenever the decoy is summoned, she taunts until she's defeated, 
and that can't be dispelled or prevented. She's immune to all other buffs and debuffs, and she doesn't take turns. Whenever she is defeated by an enemy, the enemy who defeated her is inflicted with doubt for two turns, and that can't be evaded or resisted, and Queen Amidala gains a bonus turn and damage immunity for two turns, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. I like this because, um, well, I mean, it looks incredibly powerful, but I feel like this is a great representation of lore. Yeah, agreed. Like, the decoy is not doing extra things. She's just there to get shot <laughs> instead of Padme. Yeah. And because they shoot the decoy, they're a little confused. or They're doubtful if they got the right one, yeah. you know. And then Padme gets away and has damage immunity for a little bit, um, which is cool. And then while she is active, while the decoy is active, whenever heal over time or protection over time expire on a Galactic Republic ally, they recover 5% health and protection. Whenever heal over time or protection over time expire on Amidala, she gains a stack of Queen's protection. Hmm. Good grief. Max is out at 10. That can't be copied, dispelled, prevented until the end of battle. For each stack she has of Queen's protection, all other GR allies gain double those stats. The Handmaiden decoy is immune to these effects, and they persist when the decoy is defeated, but are dispelled when Amidala is defeated. Queen's uh, protection is, at its core, 3% max health, max protection, and 5% potency and tenacity, plus 5 speed. And that's, of course, per stack. Max of 10, so we're talking 50% potency and tenacity, 50 speed, yeah, uh, 30% max health and max protection. Mm. That's not bad, and that's doubled for everyone that's not on the dollar. Yikes. <laughs> also, while in Grand Arenas... <laughs> <laughs> Same ability. And it gets better. If there's no GL or Scoundrel allies, and all allies are Galactic Republic, all allies gain 25% crit damage, 40% mastery, and are immune to fear and healing immunity. Whenever an ally is inflicted with a stack of damage over time, they dispel it. And all allies gain a stack of heal over time and protection over time for two turns. At the start of each encounter, summon an ally handmaiden decoy. Whenever an ally decoy is critically hit, all enemies are inflicted with potency down and tenacity down for two turns, which cannot be evaded. And then this last one, I swear to God, it's easy. This is a nice little easy thing. Um, this is the stats for the decoy. Light side tank, Galactic Republic. Um, has a basic ability? I thought she didn't take turns. Maybe for assists? <laughs> yeah, must Probably be. For assists. Yeah. Uh, basic ability is Galactic Republic allies recover 10% health and protection. Grant advantage for one turn to a random enemy who doesn't already have it. And that can't be evaded or resisted. That's interesting. Yeah, why not? And then all that's left, I'm losing my voice, but I got this. I got this. This is it. The leader ability. We have reached the end of the podcast. <laughs> all allies have plus 20% defense and plus 15% max health and max protection. At the start of battle, if all allies are GR and there are no GL allies, whenever an enemy attacks out of turn, they're inflicted with damage over time for one turn. That can't be evaded or resisted. And they lose 10% turn meter uh, from all enemies which can't be resisted. At the start of each ally's turn, they gain 3% crit damage stacking for each stack of heal over time they have and 3% offense stacking for each stack of protection over time they have until the end of their turn. When an enemy is critically hits an ally, that enemy gets minus 5% crit damage, defense, and offense until the end of the encounter. Max is out at 50%, and that can't be resisted. And then while in Grand Arenas and there's no GLs and everybody's a Galactic Republic, 
Whenever an ally uses a special, they gain bonuses based on their roll. Attackers get offense up for two turns and call another random ally to assist, dealing 20% more damage. Tanks recover 25% health and protection. And support and healers gain protection up 50% stacking and speed up for three turns. Yeah. My God, man. Well, I, my brain keeps on going towards like the regular Padme and Amidala on this team. And then, yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, I, I think the stacking offense is just unbelievable. But then I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, OK, I mean, what is Qui-Gon going to be in this? I mean, it has to be Pancho Qui-Gon. It just has to be right. But so yeah, yeah. is he the attacker or is he a tank? Right. Like how sweet would it be is if he's a tank and then Obi-Wan is the attacker. And then obviously yeah. the support or healers that gain protection up. Which, you know, the regular Padme gives so much protection up. Yeah. Man, it's... I don't see... What's what's the counter here? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, this feels like... I a, literally a don't know. I mean... I mean, because you're removing turn meter. You're getting stacking uh, crit de- uh, damage. You're getting heal over times. So you're getting you know, offense, you're taking away, like, I mean, you're doing speed down. I mean, it just... And you're punishing the other team, too. Like, they get stronger, and the other team crumbles. None of it can be resisted or prevented. Like, if you crit them, you're you're going down the drain till the end of the encounter. You're falling apart. I mean, the, I, I just... What, I know going against this and, and, again, it's not... The conquest is not the same. But mm-hmm. I, I was thinking the same thing. Like, how do you not beat this without a galactic legend? And I saw people do it, and it does exist. But on the other side of this, this is going, and that's not even that's with two characters not even on there yet. Yeah, that but was that's a, also with Datacrons. True, because we aren't we aren't going to have zealous ambition to bail us out in Grand Arena. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Right. And so that's the only way I did it without our GL. Yeah. I mean, it, it just feels like this is going to be just outstanding i mean they hit it right on the the head of the nail with with bane this one feels like they're gonna hit this one pretty hard too and it it feels like this Mm -hmm. is like a gl level defensive you know team i mean there has to be something down the line that's gonna stop this but man this is a beast it's exciting i mean that's that's all i can say like I, I'm sitting here going, man, I got to get Leia done. I have to then get done with my bow. So that way when these guys come out, because I want the Gungans and I want this team. Like, man, mm-hmm. CJ, you're doing a good job of keeping me wanting. This is going to be absolutely nuts. Um, mm. I I don't know. Honestly, um, here's where my headspace is. Uh, I just did, I just streamed Grand Arena before the show and I went up against Bo-Katan and I had so much the opposite experience of fun. (laughs) I just felt like, why am I here? Why am I even doing this? Can't, can't beat it. This is not a team that can be beaten. And you look it up on .gg, and .gg is like, you're right, Sean. <laughs> yes. This is not a team that's going to be beaten. Um, you look at all these comps that people try, and it's literally, on um, Insight, it's 0% chance of success. Zero, 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 zero. And I'm like, I'm getting that vibe here. I'm really getting that. And I'll, I'll unlock her day one. I'm going to be there. But what's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> we can't, we can't be doing this every conquest. We can't. Darth Bane, he's fun, man. I'm having fun, but I'm 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 nervous about characters like this. I just feel like uh, this is gonna be broken. So. Yeah, I mean, again, and you know they're giving her a data crown. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Like you I know I think with that data crown that she's gonna get. She's going to be that conquest. I think it's going to be... I mean, think yeah. about how Leia was when she first got hers, too. But that was a GL again, right? But The Datacron will just read literally 
goaded. Yes. Like, <laughs> I mean, she's just. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it, it's it, a lot. It was kind of fun, though, just watching all the videos of people just raging about her in Conquest. And I mean, <sighs> and again, I, I know it's. Yeah, it was not easy, man. It, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. And I just knew that when I was not going to get that four points or whatever that was, five Let's, points. I mean. Let's actually let's uh, pivot. Let's talk about conquest for a second here, yeah. because I, I mentioned that I got Max Crate in conquest, and the path that I took, I feel like I only gave up on a couple things. I didn't do Keller and Beck and IG twelve and Grogu. I didn't complete a single battle with them, and I think there's one where you have to get like fifty kills with droids. Yeah. And I didn't do that one, which that one would be doable, but I just put it off and didn't do it. So I found myself in a position where I had to three star Padme. Oh. And I'm I'm like, what? Like, that was so hard. (laughs) Yes, that was. I barely beat it. What? And I was able to do it, but it was tough i had to use all my consumables i was this is like last day you're using everything you got mm-hmm. all my consumables i did a dash around our team with zealous ambition cross my fingers cross my toes here i go <laughs> and uh i got it done but i just i realized like if i would not have been able to do that i wouldn't have gotten max crate mm. so that's my one scare scary story about conquest is like there's not a lot I can skip. Yeah. And, and I originally and, thought that the, the Datacrons were going to be good. You know, I mean, it sounds like at the beginning it was pretty easy that I was going to get all of these feats. Yeah. I I know Zealous Ambition is, is good, and I, I did have the ability to survive. But I'll tell you what, it was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it was yeah. easier last time around just to speed right through it this time. You know each one. Even if you're putting on auto, you're going to go most of that full time because you could just got it. For me, it was like ramping offense. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. felt like it, you know. I feel like I ended up with, like, there's so many new Datacrons, and I didn't really go into it with a solid plan. I had used Zealous Ambition before. It's not new. It's just returning, right? So I knew that that was like like Grandmaster Yoda was Zealous Ambition. Get out mm-hmm. of town, man. Yeah, it's Everything nice. dies. I love it. Um, and a new dash was dynamite with that too. But uh, I kind of ended up, I stumbled into a good set of Datacrons. Um, and there's there was so many instances where I was like, God, if I, I only had two Zealous Ambitions and I saw a lot of guides that had like bit dynasty a lot of his mm-hmm. stuff had three zealous ambitions equipped i think scribe had some with with three as well um i had a blue and a green so at least there's a blue one there but like i kept looking at my datacrons thinking if i had made one wrong choice here i wouldn't have, or just just not lucked out yeah if i wouldn't have had the opportunity to get two zealous ambitions it's not happening. So I don't know. I'm sure a lot of listeners are going to disagree because all I heard was how easy this conquest was really? through the whole thing. And I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, for me, I ended up at gold crate in which, I mean, I could have pushed to probably get a little bit farther in the end, but I don't know if I would have yeah. gotten, you know, the last crate and I didn't buy the, the top tier, you know, thing this time around. So it really was, you know, I got to gold and I'm like, Datacrons, here I come. I mean, I just, I got 103 total with everything. So I'm still yeah. going to get her that first uh, time Pad around. Mage. Yeah. Like, yeah. so I'm at that point, really, I'm, I'm in an okay spot. I'm going to get it exact same time that I got Bane. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, all right, so conquest wrapped. I whined about it the whole time. I've, I've been, I've been a little baby in this game. I whine about everything, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 
I got Max Crate. I got some Datacrons out of the thing. Um, I think it was the day before that I literally only had three Datacrons still. And I bought uh-huh. one in the shop. So I had only earned two Datacrons. Um, and one comes from a calendar, it right? It does, yeah. So I had only earned one Datacron. It was crazy. Um, wow. And then that last couple days i got that stuff done and uh just did several several sims on that and ended up with a bunch nice um i mean it's eight it's not a bunch but i was shaking in my boots when i had three like that's no good for grand arena that is no good i ended with three rows if i remember right yeah and i i I only got eight but four of them i took up to level nine so like Next time it'll be a little easier because I don't yeah. have to grind as much on that. So, uh, speaking of Grand Arena, though, three um, v three is on. It's it's happening. We we missed all of last week, or well, no, we didn't. I, we talked a little bit, but um, how's your how'd your first week go? How's how's this week going? Where are you at? Yeah. So, I mean, this week. Isn't today the first day of attack? Yeah. Okay, good. I, I got a little nervous when you are talking about it earlier. I'm going, wait, did I miss one? But you're just a day ahead of time. So I'm, Yeah, I changed up my Twitch schedule. I uh, When I started streaming, I was streaming Thursday mornings, but I didn't have a job back then. So now <laughs> I do Wednesday night. As soon as attack opens up, I, I get in there and do it. But No. Oh. So, um... I, I've been doing pretty well recently, and so I mean I've been you know uh, a little bit on the rise, and I think I'm going to get put back down to where I belong. But <laughs> I, I'm, I'm currently right now on Kyber two. I'm at that thirty five thirty mark, so highest again mm. I've ever been. Um, and I had some fun this week. This last week has been really cool. I was really looking forward to the Datacrons. I worked really hard. On making sure that I had some of the good ones there. I had to have Bane. I had to have Sidious. So I went into there thinking, okay, here we go. Let's have some fun. And so first round ended up did win. Um, Shea Vizla is the person that I, uh, or Shea Vizla is who I went against. Um, Big GP. Um, All three of these group here were were pretty good GPs. Um, Really kind of fun. Starkiller I know is not great against Ray, but I thought... No real good Datacron, so we'll keep on doing it. Starkiller was able to take it. And then I'm like, who do I use Sidious for? I was a little bit worried about who can he beat because, again, I really depend on insight in a lot of ways. And when you don't have insight, I'm like, I hope this team wins. Easily took out a Malgus team, so that felt really good. Didn't have to use, obviously, Sith Eternal on that, so that was kind of nice. Jedi Master Luke took down SLKR and... My sea bane, as I call him, uh, took down uh, took down Leia. So that was really nice to be able to use that. I didn't have Bane's uh, Omicron, and I forgot to take uh, Darth Revan off uh, off defense to to put him in there. Because in mm-hmm. territory wars, I was able to beat beat Leia with Bane and Darth Revan. Um, so yeah. That I was hoping to do, but either way, we still beat it. No, in Grand Arena, I beat Leia with Bane and uh, Sith Assassin. Oh. For what that's worth. Like... Yeah. With the just, Omicron? Uh, uh, he has two Omicrons and a Datacron. Yeah. So, I mean, he's, yeah. he's so loaded he's, up. He, he's but. he's got, got the belt a little bit higher than where mine was, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, right, right. But, but it was not it was not a close match. It was just murder. It feels good. I mean, honestly, but <laughs> murder feels great. Right, you know. Um <laughs> now the d- not so good part of this was is that uh I tried to do a Malakos mirror match and mine's only relic five kind of mm. beat me up pretty good. And then I, I get through the bottom, try to get to the back row, and I got a backdoor Jabba and a just Jedi Master Kenobi. Not like, the backdoor Jabba. Just not nice. Um, but Jedi Master Kenobi was a mirror match. That was pretty easy. And Jabba just jabba And so luckily, this guy just didn't do much. Uh, attacked me once, said, hey, I could beat you, but I didn't. So I ended up winning 12.05 to 67. Um, so that okay. was kind of nice. 
Now, yeah. round two, um, this was a, a really good one. It was actually back and forth through a lot of it. It was probably one of my closest matches I've had. Um, it was a loss. His name is pretty interesting. It has an M and then a symbol that looks like a wonky T with some crab, pin- crab pinchers. So I don't know what that means, mm. but it's pretty oh, cool. I gotta, you know I got to I know. This it, it doesn't it's... look like another language. It looks like it's... <laughs> but uh, the good again, I, Sidious easily took down Gus. That was nice. And then Starkiller still held held out against Ray, which was perfect. And then I tried to use um, I tried to use C Bane versus Leia, and it didn't work. Uh, so that lost, which I was a little surprised on. And then Lord Vader was there, and I put three teams against him, so that was kind of tough. And then uh, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, man, with him with his Datacron, he's he's a beast. I don't see too many of those, and I stalled out against it. And crazy part was, is I was eleven points short at that point, and all I had to do was beat one more team. And mm. I was just trying to, at that point, try to pick off people. I'm like, all right, so if I beat five, like four people, that's four more points. It it just didn't work. Uh, so I ended up losing fifteen forty to fifteen fifty one. So um, mm. wonky T and crab pincher guy. You got me there. Um, I looked it up. That's the Japanese uh, hiragana symbol for ta. Uh-huh. But the letter M with ta is not like a thing that okay. means a thing. So it is wonky. Well, you know, I, I don't mean to, you know, say that like it just it mm, looks th- that's the best way that I could go through and uh, yeah. say it without showing it on there. So it does. It looks like it's a little Slanted T with some little pictures. There yeah. you go, right? It's a hiragana symbol. I, I recognize that it was hiragana, but I um I don't know <laughs> hiragana. That works. And so then I go into the last one. Uh, again, I got pretty fortunate with this one. Big defense on there again. A lot of uh, a lot of GLs on defense. It really went kind of tough this round too. But the nice part is, is if these people just don't play. I keep on looking like I'm better, you keep know, on winning. <laughs> right. So, well, uh, this time around, it's nice to be a job again with an SLKR. That felt really good. Yeah. And Sidious, I'm like, all right, so you beat a Gus. Can you beat a Starkiller? Easy win against Starkiller. So that was great. Um, and then I used CLS versus Saw, which I was a little bit nervous with. That was pretty easy, even with his Datacron. So that was kind of nice. Now, the not-so-fun stuff, Gas had a really tough time with Reva. Normally, I'm, I do a pretty good job with that, but I took Fives and the other Rex with Captain Rex. Yeah. So that, That's what I call the goofy gas. Yeah. Because you got to use the scraps. And Reva ate it up. So, um, But the nice part was is Wampa cleaned up Reva. So that was pretty fun, just to be able to do that. Nice. Um, and then... Jedi training Ray this whole three rounds. I lost four times in three three rounds against her just because of the resistance crowns. And, you know, yeah. it's my easy counters, and she's usually relatively pretty easy to beat. Uh, it, it was no fun. So, um, yeah. So that was my my one dumb person. No, not person. Sorry. Jedi training Ray. I don't mean to be mean. <laughs> uh, dumb <laughs> scenario where I just had a hard time beating. And then C Bane again. Uh, no good against uh, Leia. I'm hoping this time around with having a full, uh, not a full, but a partially full Bane, then I can I can do better with that. Star sure. Star Killer could not beat Ray, but I do did find out that Maul cleans up Ray. That was kind of nice. And then I had nothing uh, backdoor Leia, just not nice. Malakos mm. doesn't win against that. Just want to let you guys know. Um, so that left a final score of eleven twenty. To a whopping 66. So thank you for not playing. That's a couple bullets there. Jeez. I know, right? So yeah, I mean, like I said, Kyber 2, I'm I'm here to stay for a moment. I can lose a couple times before I have to get popped back down. So how about for you? Uh, you got a higher skill rating than me. Uh, for the moment. I'm at 3507 for right now. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this round goes. Um all right, so I'm in Kyber 2 as well. 
Round one, I go up against uh, Supreme Astro. That one I streamed. You can see that on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, um, the other Sean on Twitch. And our YouTube is just Radio Free Tattooing. Uh, round one, I go up against Supreme Astro. And I put the hurt on Astro. I knock out both front walls and baby, they got Jawas in the back. <laughs> and we brought our wampa in, and that wampa is full. That's funny. Oh, that was nice. I mean, um, if you were going on a blind date, you, that's what you have to say. You got some Jawas in the back, and I'm ready to wampa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, You're welcome to somebody that uses that. I mean, that is yeah. top notch. Man, that's that's quality quality i'm writing that down (laughs) um i did uh you know this was i think was this the round yeah yeah this was the round that i streamed and i had uh calvin awesome actually rated me on twitch Mm. and he had a ton of viewers like 40 50 people dump into my channel and that yeah i'm pretty small time over on twitch i'm big deal here yeah right clearly (laughs) but (laughs) But <laughs> over on Twitch, you know, I get a few people watching. It's fine. So I literally had more people watching me than ever. And um, I'm like, oh, this is, this is awesome. This is really cool. And they tune in just as I go and take my Leviathan against a profundity no. and lose. And I'm like, welcome, everyone, to the <laughs> channel. This is what I do. I make bad decisions, particularly bad ship decisions. Um, that said, I, uh, I that was the only loss I had, and I cleaned it up, and I ended up winning twenty thirty nine to sixty two. Mm. You got one fight in there. Um, the let's see, round two was against Karshen. <laughs> this was. Uh, this was kind of rough. I gave it my all, but I just kind of couldn't get there. Leia couldn't take out Ray. Aiden couldn't take CLS. Leviathan couldn't take out a negotiator. I almost screamed. Um, Chimera failed to take out a mal, uh, uh, malevolence. And I just, you know... I just, I did what I could do, right? Yeah. Um, and the only thing they didn't take out for me was my malevolence. Their Leviathan was going up against it, but it timed out. Because it was a last minute. We were both battling. I ended up with 1429. They ended up with 1764. So mm-hmm. neither of us could full clear because we both waited till the last hour to do it. It was a pain. And then round three was... We're not talking about round three. <laughs> <laughs> Went up against Ben Yago. I lost 224 to 2001. I log in at 4 o'clock and I see I've got 2001. That's not insurmountable, but that means it's a full clear. Mm-hmm. And I, I could maybe mess up once or twice and still pull this off. But uh, you know, I just had a lot of stuff going on. And I, I did a few fights and that was that. That was it. Um, so yeah, uh, we're getting a little long in the tooth here, Oh yeah, but that's fine. It's been a minute. They can deal. It's been (laughs) like 12 years since I've seen an update on this. Who are you grinding? Oh yes. It has been a couple days. I'm glad that that timing worked just out because the the computer just exited out of everything. So that was just perfect timing, by the I way. I saw your so. little icon pop back up in the Google Doc, and I thought, oh, what was he doing? <laughs> it just <laughs> he just joined? It just turned <laughs> off everything. So, yeah, I do this by complete memory. I remember all of right. that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't use no show notes. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a couple days. I've actually had some pretty good movement here. It feels pretty good. Um, one thing that doesn't feel good is my bow requirements. And so, mm. be 
I don't know why I said B, but IG-12. I'm just going to start saying, like, <laughs> I didn't even say a vowel. Um, so IG-12 went from 56 out of 100 up to 97 out of 100. It's just, oh, look at you. But it's just kind of mean, though. Like, just give me that three. And so yeah. Um, yeah. Kellerin went from 39 out of 85 up to zero out of 100. So we're getting there. Yeah. Now, get ready. Just remember, I have not talked about my BLT in, like, two weeks. So I want you to add this up on how many shards that I've gotten. So the BLT, which every single day. Three weeks, right? Four, or four weeks. I think we had one in between there. Did we? Yeah, I think we had one. Okay. Yeah, we had one. Okay, you're right. You're right. Either you're way, right. this is pathetic. Um, yep. 58 out of 85 up to a whopping 62 out of 85. That's four blueprints, yeah. Josh. That's four blueprints. That's four. That is just well done. What is wrong with this game sometimes? Uh, Marauder, eighty-three out of hundred to done. So wonderful. Hey, nice. Uh, just I, I just need to get past Gear One uh, uh, Bad Batch people, and I, I might be able to, to say, use it. Aren't, so. aren't the pilots for that toddlers? <laughs> Basically, in <your> yes. roster. <laughs> they don't even have the full helmets yet. Um, right now, Leia. This is where I made a little bit of progress, and I feel pretty good about. So, Scout Trooper. He was basically Relic 0. He's up to Relic 1, so feel good for me. One Relic. Okay, all right. Uh, Kinesa, she was Gear 10. Now she's up to Relic 1. Mm-hmm. And so Rolo, R3 to R5, so she is done. Captain nice. Han, Relic 3 to Relic 5, he is done. Now Chirpa was Gear 12. Guess what? Now Relic 1. Ooh, you got some signal data in your future. I know. A lot of it. Wicked? It was Relic Zero, now Relic One, and then Lobot is almost Gear 12, but he went from Gear 7 to basically Gear 12. I need one of those small pieces of stuff that you just never have that don't even really matter, you know, but... So, yeah, I mean, we're getting pretty close. I mean, Lobot's the only one not in relics, but I have a ton of signal data and a lot of relic materials to to grind yeah. on and then i will be finally ready to go to start getting those tickets and starting that grind oh god but it's gonna be exciting so you're gonna get leia ready for the raid right when the raid leaves i know i same thing happened hurt. with jabba so i mean but still yeah. it, it you just i gotta i hope you get a couple good runs in there with her uh, you know <laughs> And then for Bane, he was not gear. He was gear 12. Now I got him up to relic seven. So, nice. you know, so it feels like, you know, I was gone for, you know, that one week, but it felt like a lot happened in that time period. So sure. Omicron wise, only got one for Bane. Um, I'm just Omicron poor 100 percent. So, yeah, Datacrons, um, Bane, Sidious, Ray and Windu. I don't want Windu, but. The uh, re- refreshes for those and the re-rolls on those are expensive. And they are. I just, I can't use that. The only way I can get any of those materials is if I use some crystals. And I got to use that for that Relic that relic 1 material. That's the so. other reason why I'm trying to win some Territory Wars. So I get some re-roll stuff. I know. And so lastly with mods, I've been really working, trying to get Bane up to where I want him to go. My goal is 150 for health. He's at 133. I looked online, and, and the best health out there is at 162. So I, I don't think – I'm not hmm. sure if I'm going to get to that 150 mark, but I feel pretty good. And that's still Relic 7. So I think if I yeah. – you know, I wanted to get him above 250 for speed. A lot of people have been utilizing him more of a slower character, but I wanted him to at least yeah. to be, you know, in that 250 mark. Um, mine's uh mine's 193 yeah i keep them i keep them slow and haven't had any issues but and i mean i think you're at like 140 i think for you know 140 uh, or 150 147 147 yeah, yeah. Yep. so that, that's but mine's relic eight too so that's that's where that's coming from and i want I, I was saying before the the show that i want to get some relic eights but i mean yeah. r2 needs to be relic eight and then really leia probably you know what i mean at minimum has to be seven, but I don't feel like Bane's a priority. I'm I, I'm glad mine is relicate, but versus some of those other characters. Obviously the requirements, right? But like yep. Jedi Master Luke, 
Ray, mm-hmm. those characters make a lot of sense too. And I, I to be honest, I'd rather have Star Killer that way, even though it does nothing. I just I wouldn't want hate to. that. Yeah. I wouldn't hate that. But with the fact that he's not consistent with Ray anymore, and by the yeah. way, when I when I look at the Ray Datacron, which you know we get a chance to talk through that, I mean that puts him at nine percent success rate against Ray. Yeah, it's rough. Rough. There, fortunately, there's still a lot Star Killer can do, but that was like the feather in his cap is he can take out Ray, and I'm, it's going to be a while before that is true again. I mean, it's it's like if you're a, a max lifter and you're used to being able to do 500 pounds, and now you can only do 300. You know, you're completely probably like, relatable. It I is, get that, right? You know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so all right. So yes, that is my wonderful BLT of four blueprints. I mean, I got to know, you know, you had to do better than those four bru- blueprints oh, than I yeah. had. So, so who are you grinding? You know, it, there's not a lot to report because everything is so focused right now, which is not something I'm particularly used to. Uh, my Bo-Katan stuff, I've got, um, last week I, I got uh, Paz up to Relic 7, so he's done. Um, but IG-12 and Grogu went from 18 up to 41 out of 100. So you got a huge advantage there. But then Keller and Beck uh, went from 62 up to 82 out of 85. So that's coming along. Yeah. Um, my Calcastus stuff, Tarful went from 32 up to 55 out of 100. Saw was 96 out of 100 last week, so he's up to Relic 3. Um, took him up into Relics for the Chirrut team. I mean, I got that crown. I might as well finally yeah, use it correctly. It. Mm-hmm. Um, Seer, I took from Relic 3 up to Relic 6. She's so close. Like, after the nightly refresh tonight, I'll have her at Relic 7. Um. Other things, I've been working on Dathcha because mm. he's the only Jawa I don't have in Relics now. So it's just a stupid thing I'm doing, you know. Everything's focused. I'm like super, like, this is, I'm doing all the right things. <laughs> <laughs> and Dathcha. Hey. Um, I gave Saw his second uh, Zeta, so he's all set. And then I also gave the first... I, I figured he's in Relics. Let's focus on him. They're not super crucial, but like that's more important than these other Jokers that are Gear 11, 5 stars, that kind of stuff. Speaking of which, I gave Killer and Beck hmm. his first Zeta, Sabered Hand. So, um, I mean, he's, he's pretty fantastic. I faced him today in Grand Arena, and I took him out, but I used like... Darth Bane against him, or like I used something spicy mm. against it. So, um, and then Omicrons, I don't know. I keep talking like I'm going to finally do some territory war ones, and I think it might be that time mm. for me to finally do Embo. Is it the most exciting thing in the world? No, but like we always use Jabba in territory war, and uh, Embo and Juhani are the two that I'm looking at. And Juhani is even less exciting, but we always use Starkiller. And if we don't use either of those teams on defense, cool. They're both great attack teams. So, I don't wow. Know. I mean, that's like, I feel like when you said that, it's like, wah, wah, wah. I know. It I doesn't mean, it feel just, exciting, but it's I would not. Yeah. I would feel good having done it. Like, yeah. I did the right thing. Mm hmm. I found a hundred dollar bill on the floor and I turned it into lost and found. <laughs> no chance that's happening. And I None went right whatsoever. straight to the candy aisle and you know, the, yeah. I, <laughs> incidentally, I have a lot of skittles now. Um, data crons. So I mentioned I ended up with eight. I got two holdos. Oh wow! A Darth Bane and a Dooku. Oh Dooku. So a couple of re-rolls, and I could turn that into four really spicy. Um, the, you know, the the first Holdo is only a Holdo because I got a fin and re-rolled it, and it became a Holdo. 
And then I leveled another one up and got a Holdo. I wish I had a Finn now. <laughs> like, those split up. Holdo is going to be with Ray. Yeah. So even when I re-roll one to a Ray, I'm going to have something else cooking. I don't know. That's all we got for you this week. It may not be the best advice, but at least we didn't recommend it. This is the only time I'm not going to recommend it, but it's because of that stupid PC beta using a Mac. There, I'm done. If you want to continue the conversation, join our Discord server. It's linked in the show description, and you can become a real-life Jawa by supporting us on Patreon. Share your thoughts by leaving us a podcast review. Big thanks also go out to our Sandcrawler-level supporters, Pabu Appa and swgoh.gg swgoh events.com for providing all that hard data we misinterpret weekly thanks for tuning in and may the force and rng be with you <laughs>